I passionately believe in balance and equality in the workplace because I know how it drives better business performance. And I'm therefore delighted to support Jane Ann's review about this important issue and hope that all financial service businesses really get behind making it a success. The government asked me to produce a report, it's called the Guardia Review, um, and it's about uh, empowering productivity in the UK economy by finding ways in which we can make it easier for financial service organisations to get the gender balance right. I was surprised when I first looked at the data to see how few women there are at senior levels in financial services. And that's both isolating and um, I think suboptimal in terms of the decisions that are made and the conversations that we have and the progress that's made. Um, when I was asked to look at this review, I hadn't realised that financial services were any worse than any other industry. And it turns out they're much worse. Only 14%, I think, on average, of executive jobs in financial services are held by women. And yet all of the, um, the work that's been done to look at productivity in the economy shows that if you get a better gender balance in an organisation, then the results turn out to be better too. So we had a look to see why it was that so few women tend to progress through financial services. If I'm honest, I sort of assume that women fell out of um, senior roles because they go and have families. That's not the case. Women who don't have children equally fall out of financial services companies before they get to senior levels. We need better managers, we need more inclusive culture, and we need ways of making flexible working something that's uh, acceptable and encouraged through organisations. And we need bank and insurance company and financial services CEOs to put this right on the table and make it a really serious issue, and then we can make a difference. Our proposals are that every company should have a strategy. Every Every company should have an executive that's responsible for delivering that strategy and that the strategy should include self-imposed targets and that the executive should be measured against those targets in exactly the same way that we in the city are measured for all of our business results. Now, why should people only be remunerated for hitting their financial targets, if you like, when those financial targets we know can be enhanced by hitting your gender targets. At Virgin Money, inspired by legal in general actually, we've set ourselves a target which is to have 50-50 by 2020. That's a tough target and everybody that's in the organisation in a management level now needs to be thinking about how do they achieve that goal in the same way as they're thinking about how do they achieve their business targets. And so HMT have agreed to put forward their charter which shows them endorsing the recommendations of this report and asking all financial services companies to sign up to the charter. I hope people will sign up. I hope that organisations can see that by addressing this issue as a real business issue, that they'll be able to drive superior performance as well as being fairer to their whole workforce. This isn't about favouritism, it's about equality, and it's about equality for men and for women, and it's about diversity as a sort of rich and important way of delivering a fair society and economic success for business. Mm -hmm.